Hey guys, Jaber here, and welcome to New Pokemon Snap. Uh, I've already played quite a bit of this game on my own time. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah. I already know the controls and everything. So, let's just get started with the playthrough. I think we'll be able to do at least one photo shoot today. Alright. The gra these graphics are really good. Hi there. I'm glad you made it. Mm -hmm. Welcome to the Laboratory of Ecology and Natural Sciences, or LENS for short. My name is Mirror. I'm researching Pokemon and their natural environment here on Florio Island. Yeah, so... Yeah, and that's not all. The professor's gonna study every single island here in the Lentil region. <laughs> no one's ever done an ecological survey like this before. It's gonna be amazing. Huh? No one? Aren't you forgetting a certain explorer? Ah. Oops, good point. You've read the stories of Captain Vince, haven't you? But... But even counting him, Professor, your survey is going to be the first of its kind in a hundred years. That's awesome. Thank you. Well, thanks. This is Rita. Her parents are good friends of mine. She's here on vacation while her school's on break. Jeez. I'm not just here to goof off, Professor. I'm your research assistant. <laughs> ah, yes, that's right. And I appreciate the help. Anyway. Now, before we go over what you'll be doing in this program, why don't we step into the lab to get settled? Yep. Right you are, Professor. I'll lead the way. Now. All right. Allow me to explain. The Lantel region is absolutely teeming with Pokemon. Photographing these Pokemon helps us learn more about them and their ecosystem. Mm. And that's exactly what you're here to do. By the way. At night, you might even get to see glowing Pokemon. They're really pretty. Alright. Now, without further ado, here's your research camera. <laughs> I've got the same one. We can use them to communicate with each other and the rest of the team, too. That's right. It's more than just a camera. It lets you keep in touch and analyze data on the fly. Yep. It'll also serve as a sort of ID badge for you here, so take good care of it. Cool. What do you think? Awesome, right? <laughs> the professor invented it. Professor. Can I explain how to use it, professor? Anyway. Sure thing, Rita. Assist away. I'll go take care of some other preparations. Yep. Alright, come on, let's go outside. Alright. Let's see. Let's see. Aha! Uh -huh, perfect, perfect timing. timing. Oh wait. This... Never mind, it's completely. Alright, it's Yes! <laughs> Now why don't you try moving the camera? See that circle in the center of your viewfinder? If you use, give it a try! You can point the camera up and down, and even spin all the way around left or right! What? Wait... You can use motion controls to aim your camera too! Oh look! Here comes Pikachu! Oh hey, look at that, it's the mascot. Try getting a shot of that first. Move the pointer so it's like. Did you see that shape appear around Pikachu just now? Whatever that shape is around is the subject of your photo. It'll be important when the professor tries snapping the. That's it. Great job. But since Pikachu's a little far away, times like this call for zooming in. To zoom in, just hold the ZL button. You'll stay zoomed in until right. you let go. Try snapping a photo of Pikachu looking nice and big. Great! Amazing. See how much bigger it looked that time? You want your
just has its whole body smack dab in the middle of the frame, looking big. Cool. Have you already gotten the hang of using your camera? Oh, right. You can you can also adjust them from the pause thing while you're out doing research. Hey, professor, we've covered the basics. Hello. How was that? I hope you're getting the hang of your research camera. Anyway. Now then, I'll evaluate the photos you took. First of all. Would you mind choosing one shot of each Pokemon you photographed? I'll rate them using my special scoring system. Pick tr pick whichever thought sh uh, pick whichever shots you think are the best. Evaluated. Starting with photo number one. A new discovery. Oh, it's Pikachu. This is the first time you've gotten it as your subject. The first thing I do is rate each photo from one to four stars. I came up with this system to help us understand and categorize how Pokemon behave. Photos of Pokemon in an ordinary state get fewer stars. More unusual behavior means more stars. Simple enough, right? To be clear, the number of a s the number of stars a photo receives doesn't affect its score. Every category is important. By the way, the camera keeps logs of what was happening when you took each photo. That data helps me categorize your photos. Let's move on to the scoring. First, I'll evaluate the subject's pose. Snapping your photo at just the right moment is key to getting a hypo score. Now, on to the other factors. Size is straightforward. The larger your subject Pokemon appears in the photo, the better. Then there's the direction the Pokemon is facing. Try to get it facing you in your photos. Next is placement. Try to get the Pokemon in the center of the frame for a nice, balanced photo. And finally, you'll get bonus points if other Pokémon are in the photo with your subject Pokémon. Now, I know that was a lot of info all at once. Let me boil it down. Remember this, and you'll do fine. Get the Pokémon nice and big in the center of the frame, then snap the shutter. With all that in mind, here's your in the uh, here's your evaluation. Looking good. Hard to believe you're a beginner. Cool. Could have done better though. A new no discovery. Place. Next is Favilion. A new addition to our research. Nice work. I see it's in flight. Nice go. This isn't a bad shot at all. Remember, getting a whole Pokemon in the frame, looking nice and big, is a key to a good size score. I got a good size score. It's better than my pose score. Was it? What did you think? Once you get your photos evaluated, you can use them to fill out your very own Pokemon, uh, Pokemon photo decks. That will be a great milestone to work toward. All right. That about does it. I think it's time you've set off on your adventure. Now then. That should about do it. See this pod? It'll carry you on your photography expeditions. By the way. It's called the Neo One. <laughs> it's the best. It can teleport to far off places in no time flat. Here's the thing. I finally put the finishing touches on it too, uh, not too long ago. With a little help from someone I know. You see, it makes use of energy hotspots scattered throughout the Lentol region. Jeez. Come on, Professor. The details can wait. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. Let's get you moving. Climb on in and touch your camera to the console. Cool. Hey, cool. I'm in a hover car. Good luck! You got this! Enjoy your first photo expedition!
settings all right I'm gonna put it up to a five for now and I'm gonna see how that looks all right no I, I need more Let, let's try a ten let's see if that works oh yeah that works all right Cool, I'm getting as many new species as I can. We do. Right, uh, now what? Not seeing anything new. actually got that one. Uh, right, uh, unfortunately this is probably going to be the only expedition we can do this time. Finish this. We're, we're gonna finish this course. When you get back, I'll take a look at your photos. And then have the photos evaluated, and that's gonna be it for the episode. It's probably gonna be a little shorter, but eh. Welcome back. Welcome back. I hope you had a good time in the f in Florio Nature Park. Anyway, now just like before, it's time to show me some photos you took. Go ahead and choose one photo per Pokemon. 
All right, Dodrio, uh, I'm gonna get this one. Pavilion, uh, this one probably. Groovy, uh, this one. Pichu, this one. Baufalant, this one. Bidoof, this one. Hoot Hoot, this one. Swana, this one. Magikarp, this one. Talo, this one. Florges, this one. Wormpole, this one. And Comfy, this one. So it's this. Alright. <laughs> Professor's Evaluation, Part All right. A. Alright, let's have a look. A new discovery. Oh, it's Dotrio, a new addition to our research. Nice work. Looks like it's fast asleep. Nice work. Keep it up. Remember, getting the whole Pokemon in the frame, looking nice and big is a key to a good size score. That is a good size score, though. Next, we've got Vivillion. What a beautiful Pokemon. Nice work. I see it's in flight. Nice going. This isn't a bad shot at all. Oh, cool. Remember, the closer a Pokemon is to looking directly at a camera, the better, the better you'll score on direction. I would like to keep the one that's better. Uh... Next is Grookey, a new addition to our research. Nice work. It seems calm. Nice work. Keep it up. Your placement is looking good. Centering your subject balances the photo well. A new discovery. Next is Pichu, nice a new work. one for your photo decks. It seems calm. Nice going. This isn't a bad shot at all. Photographing from different spots might help you get better angles on Pokemon. A new Next, we've got Balflint, a new addition to our research. Nice work. It seems calm. Nice going. This isn't a bad shot at all. He said that so many times now. Try getting close-ups of Pokemon's faces, too. I can't. They're so far away. There is no way I'm getting a close-up of that face. Bidoo. A new discovery. Next, we've got Bidoof, a new one for your photo decks. Nice work. Seems like it's on its way somewhere. Nice work. Keep it up. Remember, getting the whole Pokemon in the frame looking nice and big is the key to a good size score. A new discovery. Next is Wormpool, a new addition to our research. Nice work. Seems like it's on its way somewhere. Nice work. Keep it up. Your placement is looking good. Centering your subject balances the photo well. Alright. Next we've got Florges. A new addition to our research. Great timing. Now this isn't something you see every day. The more Pokemon you get in a photo, the more insight- Oh, that's good. That's good. The more insight it gives us into the area's ecosystem. Cool. Talo. A new discovery. Next is Talo, a new one for your photo decks. Nice work. I see it's in flight. Nice going. This isn't a bad shot at all. Remember, the closer a Pokemon is to looking directly at the camera, the better you'll score on direction. Magikarp. A new Next is Magikarp, a new one for your photo decks. Nice work. Ah, I see. What fascinating behavior. Nice work. Keep it up. Try pairing Pokemon with striking backgrounds. Swana, this is taking way too long. New discovery. I, I'm just gonna nice skip work. through the rest of this. Jeez. This is taking way longer than I thought it would. Jeez. Stop. Nice work. Alright, that was a bad photo, I get it. This was uh, probably also a bad fo photo. Here nice we go. Work. Oh no, it wasn't It wasn't as bad. How was it? 
So, what did you think? Anyway. One last thing. Let me tell you about research levels. Your research level on a course tells you how much progress you've made there. Once that level goes up, you may see Pokemon behave in ways you haven't seen before. The key to raising your research level is to observe all types of Pokemon's behaviors. Mm -hmm. That means getting photographs of them in every category, from one star to five star, oh. four star. So in short, fill up that photo dex. Keep in mind, keep that in mind, and you'll be right on the right, or you'll be on the right track. So get out there and snap lots of photos and cherish the encounters with Pokemon you have along the way. Cool. Look at that, you've hit a new stage of... Oh. Alright, cool. Cool. Save photos to album. Right. I want the ones that were graded. Side. Uh, obviously this one, and also this one right here. Cool. Return to camp, and that will be about it for today, guys, so... Oh, never mind, there's a cutscene. Maybe. I hope not. Oh, gosh. That covers just about everything. Hey, so can we go on a nighttime photo shoot later? Not yet, but soon, after a little more practice. Also. By the way, don't forget you can come back to the lab and take a look at your photo decks anytime. <laughs> I'll explain more about that when you stop by the lab. Anyway. Well, don't let me keep you any longer. Go ahead and have a good time and snap some photos. Cool. I'm gonna say not for now. Oh. Oh cool, there was an update since last time. Oh no. No! <laughs> Alright. That's about it for today, guys. I will see you in the next one. Bye.